Doug Gresham taking bold steps to keep the homeless from camping out on city property. And they have a big fight on their hands. That's because somebody actually cut and pulled down sections of a fence that the city was installing along the Springwater Trail. Our Lisa Balick is there and joins us live from Gresham. Lisa, do they know who did this? It's just a waste of taxpayers' money. They weren't even finished with installing it. Terry Shumway's lived in Gresham for more than 20 years. She's upset with whoever wrecked the fencing, and she showed us this. Pictures of destruction in Gresham Woods, garbage, trees damaged, in the city-owned property along the Springwater Trail, where dozens of people have been camping. We walked into the woods along an open trail with some neighbors, who pointed out how there are still campers there, despite the posted ban. We call the police, they come and post them, they move the camps out, and the camps move down the road 50 feet, maybe half a mile, but they're back. Police tell me they will make arrests. Because we're going to investigate the damage to this fence also. It's a, you know, a pretty large scale vandalism. Gresham spent hundreds of thousands of dollars restoring the Gresham woods, but the city's now looking at having to pay even more to clean up damage from the homeless camps. But just because most campers are now out of the woods and the city is trying to protect nature, it doesn't mean that it's any safer along the Springwater Trail. I've been approached actually about four times uh, inappropriately by male people on this trail. In what way when you say inappropriate? Uh, you know, lewd sexual comments, that sort of thing. Police tell me they are increasing patrols, but say that won't keep away the campers. Until there's a, a longer term solution, which I don't know what that answer is, um, it's going to continue to be a problem. Police are offering a $500 reward to find out who cut the fence and took it down in places. Take a look. I wanted you to see here. Take a look here. Burn sections as well. And the city does, by the way, under city code, have the right to close off public, pro pro public property in order to protect open space. So that's what they've done, and they may even have to build something stronger here. Live in Gresham, Lisa Balick, Coin 6 News. Yeah, Springwater Trail now becoming a problem. People can't even enjoy using it because of the problems there. Our media partners at the Portland Tribune also covered this story.